guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Makeup by Carla Misa on YouTube and today I'm going to share with you a review of one of the latest lip products that I have in my collection right now. And I have just been meaning to do a first impression review on these products but I just couldn't wait and I used two of the shades I have here. These are the LA Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses and I have four shades. The first shade I got is in the shade of Bazaar. Then I got the shade Dreamy. These were the two shades that I have already tried, but I haven't really observed or tested. These two new shades that I have are the shade Secret and Rebel. I haven't really tried out just yet. There's no specific information stated on the packaging, so I'm just gonna check it out online. So it says here at the LA Girl USA website, the LA Girl Matte Pigment Gloss Blurring the lines between lipstick and lip gloss, matte pigment gloss has already become a favorite of makeup artists, blogger, and fans. These 16 gold shades provide rich, intense color in a flat finish for all day wear. The long wearing formula goes on as a high pigmented liquid and dries to a flat matte finish, leaving lips colored in gorgeous velvety perfection that lasts and lasts. It has 16 bold shades and I have 4 shades right here. It is just contained in this chubby little packaging. The LA Girl is much more chubbier than the MUA and Makeup Revolution Velvet Mattes. comes with a doe foot applicator but it's kind of like a flat doe foot, not the regular lip gloss applicator. And let's begin by swatching all 4 shades. First shade is in Bazaar. I hope I'm gonna swatch it right. That is Bazaar. The second shade I have here is Dreamy. That is Dreamy. Two other shades I have here are still sealed, so I'm gonna open up this plummy shade, which is Rebel. This is Rebel. And last but not the least is this vampy deep red shade. OMG. It's just super gorgeous. So that is Secret. So these are all four shades in this collection that I have. In the shade of Bazaar, Dreamy, Rebel, and Secret. As you can tell, it quickly dried into a matte formulation. And I just love the shades that I got. So on my lips today, I'm going to try out the matte flat finish pigment gloss in the shade of Secret. So this is my bare lips. I did not apply any lip balm whatsoever on my lips. As you can tell, my lips are pretty pigmented on its own. And let's just try this one out. It's super pigmented. So here is how it looks like on my lips. I love, love, love the shade. It's just super vampy and deep. It doesn't make my teeth yellow whatsoever. It is super matte and it has already dried up. But you still feel some sort of like a tacky feeling. Like it's not completely dried. So yes, definitely kiss proof. So it's already 4.37 p.m. in the afternoon. I know I'm a little bit late for this review, but so far it's kiss-proof, not transferring at all. And yeah, I really love the color and the texture. It doesn't feel drying whatsoever in the lips as of the moment. And it just feels a little tacky when you meet your lips. I'll catch you guys later for an update. Hey guys, I am back for an update. It is now. 8.04 in the evening. I just finished eating dinner and I ate a lot of oily food. I ate the chon manok, I ate pork liempo, I ate sauteed shrimp, and talaga sinipsip ko pa yung shrimp. And I ate ice cream as well. And as you can tell, medyo glossy na tingnan yung lip product because of the oil that has accumulated on my lips. As you can tell, the product or the lip product is still there. Pero yun nga lang, medyo oily na siya. So I'm gonna get tissue and blot. 
para matanggal yung oil. So there it is matte again and full on pa yung color. Consider they ate a lot of oily food for that matter. I'm really amazed how it stayed on my lips. Ang napansin ko lang kanina when I first applied it, I drank water and medyo lalalo siyang nagiging tacky pag nababasa when you drink water. Pero ngayon that I blotted it, um, okay na siya, matte na siya ulit. So I'll get back to you guys later for my final update. Hey guys, I am back for my final update. It is now 10 p.m. in the evening. It doesn't feel drying whatsoever naman, but it has faded in the inner part of my lips. And hindi na even yung application niya. When you look at it from a distance, it's very presentable pa naman. You can see that the color is still there. I'm really amazed of how long it has lasted on my lips. Um, considering I have eaten a lot and drank a lot already. So for my verdict, I really love this matte pigment glosses. Especially the one I'm wearing now in secret. It is very full in color. I love the doe foot applicator it comes with. It's very full in color as you can tell, diba? Super ganda. It comes in a flat doe foot so it's very easy to apply. It did not feel drying whatsoever on my lips. It is full in color, very pigmented, very matte. I hope you can get your hands on this product as well and let me know your comments or thoughts on it down below so that I will also know what do you think about this product. So that's all for this review of the Ellie Girl Matte Flat Finish Pigment Glosses. I hope you enjoyed watching and I hope this video has helped you somehow. As always, thank you so much for watching this video guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! As you can see, the lip color is still full. You still feel some sort of like a tacky feel. The second, the second shade. It doesn't make my teeth. It doesn't take. The LA Girl Matte Flat Fig Fella. And I really love the color. It's super pretty. It has dried already. It's super matte. And it's already dried up. It has already dried. And talagang sinip sip ko yung shrimp. And uh, like it's not. I ate sauteed shrimp, which I re. And I talagang sinip sip ko yung ulo. Oh my god. <laughs>